Hello, buddies of the internet. It's quite unicorn. Hey buddies, welcome to Minecraft Story Mode. So this is a brand new game that only came out from the good people at Minecraft two weeks ago. Well, it's not so much of a game as it is a story. Obviously, story is in the title, but it's it's a game story. It's a, it's a choose your own adventure story game. So from what I understand, you get to be the main character in the story and you get to make decisions on what to do as the story goes along. So every single time anyone plays the game, it's gonna be a little bit different. So this is my first time going into story mode, so I'm not exactly sure how it works, but I think we'll figure it out together. I will hit play in a second, but can we just appreciate for one moment all the sweet, sweet bills that are happening in the background of the screen? It's kind of hypnotic. I feel like I could kind of watch it forever. It just keeps going and going and building and building. Okay, it's time to play. All right, so I get to choose my character. So the main character's name is Jesse, but you can choose to have any kind of Jesse you want. You can choose to have a girl Jesse or a boy Jesse, and you can choose the appearance of your Jesse. All these Jessies look pretty cool, and I'm really glad that they're all wearing such awesome overalls. That's a pretty handsome Jessie. Uh, I'm gonna go for a girl Jessie. Ooh, hands on the hips, so sassy. So there are gonna be five episodes of Minecraft Story Mode, but only episode one is out so far. So let's start! Okay, uh, the game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Nothing built can last forever. And every legend, no matter how great, fades with time. With each passing year, more and more details are lost until all that remains are myths, half-truths. To put it simply, Lies. Oh no! Lies! And yet, in all the known universe, between here and the Far Lands, the legend of the Order of the Stone endures, unabridged as self-evident fact. Indeed, it is only a troubled land that has need for heroes, and ours was fortunate to have, so long ago, four heroes such as these. Gabriel, the warrior, before whose sword all combatants would tremble. Eligard, the redstone engineer, whose machines would spark an era of invention. Magnus the rogue, who would channel his destructive creativity for the benefit of all. And Zorin, the architect, builder of worlds, and leader of the Order of the Stone. These four friends together would give so much to gain their rightful place as four heroes. Their greatest quest would take them on a dangerous journey to fight a mysterious creature known as the Ender Dragon. In the end, the Order of the Stone emerged victorious and the dragon was defeated. Their story complete, they slipped away into the pages of legend. Oh man, that was a good story. We are starting off on a good foot. But when one story ends, another one begins. That's right it does, it's my story this time. Would you rather fight a hundred chicken-sized zombies or 10 zombie-sized chickens? What? Uh... Just to be clear, you wouldn't have any weapons or armor. So you'd have to fight them with your hands. With my bare hands? Oh, goodness. It's just a hypothetical question, Jesse. Oops, I think I missed the answer. So I've got a daylight sensor on the roof. Mm -hmm. And if I did this right, these lamps should turn on once it gets dark. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to just leave Reuben here with nothing while we're at the building competition. He's coming with us? Really? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Of course he is. OK, I'm not saying he shouldn't come. I'm not. But don't you think it's a little weird that you take him with you everywhere you go? What's weird about taking your pet pig? He kind of makes us look like, I don't know, amateurs. Pros. I believe you mean to say pros. Ruben's my best friend. I thought I was your best friend. Oh, both of you are. I didn't mean anything by it. I'm glad he's coming. I just don't want to give people one more reason to call us losers. You gotta be kidding, right? I'm getting tired of it. Nah, we're bosses. I'm tired of being a laughing stock. Who cares what those monkeys think? Who cares what other people think? I know. I'm just... It wears you down. You say you're not a loser, Olivia. So win. Ooh, sage advice. Okay. Fine. <sighs> Do you hear that? <sighs> oh, no. Oh! <laughs> Oh, man, you 
guys totally freaked out. Now we're uh, uh. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Great. Now I'm gonna smell like a pig in Endercon. I thought we were buddies. Sounds like an improvement on smell, actually. <laughs> I brought you good times and now I'm being punished for it? Did you bring the fireworks? Of course I did. I even brought something for the little guy. Nice. You brought Reuben a disguise? Um, we're going to a convention. Somebody's got to wear a costume. Oh, man, he looks great. My terrifying little pig, baby. He looks awesome. Darn tootin'. It only took me like a million hours to build it. All right, all right. Aw, oh, buddies. You definitely brought the fireworks, right? Yes, I'm ready. Waiting on you guys. If he was really your best friend, you wouldn't let him go outside dressed like that. The only thing more dangerous than putting a costume on a pig is trying to take it off. Can't say I've ever tried. Hurry up and grab your stuff. We'll meet you downstairs, okay? Okay. All right, my stuff, uh, what's my stuff? What am I grabbing? Okay, tap and drag to move and look around. All right, uh, let's check this place out. Uh, I think there's something I need in that chest. <sighs> Flint and steel, not too shabby. Yeah, now we're talking. Uh, maybe I should say goodbye to Gabriel. Gabriel the warrior. You think we'll ever get that famous? Yeah, Ruben knows. It's not impossible. Oh, I know. Maybe I'll get famous for my sweet poster collection. I don't know that that's a thing that people get famous for. All right, so I can still take quite a few things with me. Um, let's have a look in here. Shears. Definitely taking these. Never know when I might need to shear some sheep. That's right, I never leave the house without them. Oh man, that looks like some kind of weird scarecrow. I got this stand as a gift, but I don't have any armor to put on it. Maybe someday. Someday real soon, Jesse. One of these days, we're gonna win the Endercon building competition. And when we do, people will look at us and say, hey, there goes Jesse and Ruben, winners of the Endercon building competition. Well, yeah, that's probably exactly what they'll say. Give me a dragon war, Ruben. <laughs> Yeah! That'll do, Reuben. That'll do. Oh man, I hope that Reuben doesn't strike too much fear into the hearts of my competitors. I mean, I'd hate to be responsible for a heart attack or a stroke. They're probably wondering why I'm taking so long. Uh, come on, Reuben. Let's get going. You know, just casually carrying my pet pig out of my treehouse like I do every day. That's everything. Let's roll. Yeah, dude. Roll. Let's go. I heard a pretty juicy rumor about the building competition, but you guys have to promise not to say anything. Okay. Pinky swear. Also, it's in two parts. Each part more exciting than the last. Spit it out, Axel. Part one, the special guest at this year's Entercon is none other than Gabriel the warrior him freaking self. Whoa, what's part two? Part two, according to my sources, the winner of the building competition is gonna get to meet him. It doesn't mean anything if we lose. But if we win, oh man, this would make up for all the losing. Meeting Gabriel would be a dream and an honor. Totally, he's awesome. It'd be amazing to meet him. We'll probably become best buddies. Ruben better be careful in that costume. The last time Gabriel saw a dragon, it didn't end well. Okay, don't underestimate Ruben, okay? I fear for Gabriel. So, does this source of yours make posters for a living? Huh? <laughs> Yeah, my uh, source uh, doesn't exist. You guys are my only friends. Guys, let's stay focused. We have a competition to win. We never win. And this year we've got Ruben with us. We basically have no chance. Okay, I wanna see a little bit more confidence. I mean, we've got our lucky pig with us. Faith, Olivia. What? A little slice, a sliver, a portion, just a little faith. That's all we need. Also, I'm hungry to win, to win. No, no, I'm with that. Oh, me too, we should get pre-competition burritos. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We're thinking about this all wrong. The point of the building competition isn't just to build something. You have to do something to get noticed by the judges. Okay then, so how do we do this? We don't just build something functional. We build something fun. Yeah, fun! After we finish the fireworks machine like we planned, then we build something cool on top of it. You might be onto something. If we want to get a reaction out of the judges, you build something scary. So I say we build a creeper. Wouldn't an Enderman be better? I'm more scared of Endermen than creepers. 
They both have their moments, both pretty scary. Then again, you scared the crap out of us with a creeper today. Creepers will look way cool with the fireworks. All right, let's build the creeper. You're going with Axel's idea? What's wrong with my idea? Nothing, it could be totally cool. It is cool. Yeah, I think this is the first time we've decided on something before getting to the competition. Think we've got everything we need? It wouldn't hurt to grab a little more. Let's get to grabbing then. We're so prepared. We can't lose. Cannot. Bring it in. <laughs> Dare to prepare on three. Nope, preparing is daring. Nope, that's the same thing. Forget it. Team on three. One, two, three, team. Fair. Oh yeah, looks like we're getting ready for a super cool montage. Let's do this, everyone. Right, we're gonna mash the button. Yeah, get it. Ruben, supervise it. Oh, no way, it wants me to do push-ups. All right, Ruben's like my personal trainer now. We can do this. We can do this. Yeah, feel the fire. Oh, man, I'm just getting warmed up. Stop by the ocean floor just for a quick wrestle. Oh, yeah, one-handed push-ups. And the other arm. And the other arm. Oh, man, I'm tough. It's a good thing that I do this so much in real life. It's really a transferable skill to Minecraft. Uh, yeah, it might look like I'm just running through a field of flowers all carefree, but actually, uh, I'm training. I think the building competition is really going to benefit from me having washboard abs. Got this one in the bag. All right, gotta be fast. Gotta be faster. Gotta be the fastest. I'm sorry, sheep. Your wool is required for the good of the team. Yeah, take that. And that. And that. All right, we're going to go for big wind-up. Ah, I never stood a chance. All right, team, it's time to huddle. Everyone put their hands in. We can do this. And break. Oh, man, that got me really pumped up. I am ready for this competition. We know what we're building. We've got all the stuff for it. We are so ready. This year, it's going to be different. I'm not just ready to build. I'm ready to win. Nice pig, losers. Oh, I'm sorry, do you have a cooler pet pig? That's what I thought. Oh, great. There's Lucas and the Ocelots. The rivalry continues. Man, they've got matching leather jackets and everything. So cool. Nah, they just think they're cool. Well, well, well. If it isn't the order of the losers. <laughs> great. <laughs> the fail squad's here. Lucas, get a load of these losers. Let's go, guys. All right, so those were some really pathetic insults. You're not doing yourself any favors here. Name, please? Axel, and uh, how do you do? No, your team name. Team name? We are not ready for this. Uh, I needed more time to come up with a team name. Why didn't anyone mention it before? Oh god, there's choices. Um, so uh, much for losing anonymously. Oh no, the bar's getting smaller. I think that means I'm running out of time to choose. <laughs> no name? No names? Got it. Great. OK, no names. You guys are in booth five. OK, no names. Uh, That's cool. Uh, I mean, that could be a cool uh, name. It's like, we don't even need a name. Everyone just knows who we are. <laughs> Okay, just ignore those meanings. We need to walk with our heads held high. They're just trying to intimidate us, and you know what? I am not intimidated. All right, uh, looks like there's a lot to do here. Um, I guess I'll just have a look around, see what's going on. Hmm. Nope. Okay, no, I'm not exactly sure what I was looking for, but that's fine, that's cool. Uh, maybe I should just join my team. Uh, oh, there's Axel. Hey, Axel, booth number five. They'll write that one in the history books. Is that a freaking beacon? They have a freaking beacon? Freaking beacon? That's stained glass. They aren't just building a beacon. They're building a rainbow beacon. Okay, we need to concentrate on our own project right now. We're gonna lose. Nah. What are you worried about? We've got this. Who are we kidding? We've got nothing. We've got a mascot. <laughs> We should probably stop staring at them. Ha ha ha. Look, it's the order of the losers again. <laughs> Good one, Gil. Man, these guys are mean. We're just looking. There'll be plenty of time for you all to look at it after it wins and gets shown at Endercon. You're being unpleasant. Maybe not all of you. Endercon doesn't allow outside food or drink. Um, that was uncalled for. I'm talking about your pig. Um, how about I put you in a sandwich and eat you? How'd you like that? Reuben is not food. Could have fooled me. He looks delicious. 
That sounded like a weird compliment. You'll have to eat me first. Uh, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Stop wasting your time, Aiden. We've got work to do. You're lucky I'm busy. Hey, Josie. Guys. Hey, Petra. How's the bill going? Only time will tell, but we're optimistic. Hey, Petra. I forgot to thank you for that nether star. Hey, Lucas. Not a problem. You help these tools? For the right price, I'll help anyone. If you need anything, you know where to find me. None of us know where to find you. Exactly. No hard feelings, guys. If you're cool with Petra, you're cool with us. Oh, this guy's nice. So why don't we just forget about all this and, you know, make this about how cool our builds are. So I'm gonna take the high road here. May the best team win. Careful what you wish for. We'll see about that. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Endercon Building Competition. The winners of this year's competition will have their build featured at Endercon. The winners will also meet in person, Gabriel the Warrior. Yeah, all right, this is gonna be so awesome, guys. This is gonna be so cool. Ocelots! Ocelots! Whoa, handshake? We don't have a handshake. We'll just <clears throat> make one up. No, no, I'm terrible at secret handshakes. We'll call it the, uh... Okay, I think it's more important that we can do it successfully. The Builder Bump. Yeah, that's a good name. Keep it simple, right? Everyone in. Uh, maybe another hand? Uh, this is a bit <clears throat> awkward. And just like that, I'm nervous again. Don't talk like that. We can do this. Just stick to the plan, and everything will be fine. We may not have a name, but still, this year, we can't lose. That's a spirit. All right, everyone get in here. Ruben, you too. Let's do it. Building starts now. All right, it's time to start building. Okay, uh, press that button. Press it. Look at us go. Oh, yeah, I make this look easy. Oh, no. A fireworks dispenser. I'm so scared. You worry <laughs> about your build. And we'll worry about ours. Seriously though, he needs to learn some manners. All right team, it is time for phase two. Are we ready? Get. That's right, it's a giant creeper. Are you not afraid now? Ah yes, from up here I can survey my competitors. Very good everyone, very good. Unlike some builders you see, I enjoy a bit of healthy competition. And now, the moment of truth. Here goes nothing. Oh man, that looks so cool. We'll win this for sure. The creeper was definitely the right way to go. I can't take all the credit. It was Axel's idea after all. That's right. Gather round. Guys, people are looking at us. Good build, man. Our friends won't like that. What? Told ya. No way. He's turning red. It's just a bunch of dyed wool. What's the effect that's important, actually, so. Whoops. That was not a mistake. <laughs> no, Ruben! Oh, no. Ruben's on fire. Ruben, no. Come back. It was Aiden, that punk. The lava's getting closer. It's gonna ruin the bill. Ruben's going to get lost. We've got to do something. But our build is about to go up in flames. We've got to get Ruben. Oh, pardon me, so clumsy. All right, that was a genuine Oof. mistake. We're right behind you. Uh, uh. Come on, Axel, Ruben is a living creature. He needs our help. Just forget about the build for now. Friends are more important. Oh my goodness, it's a cliffhanger. Thanks for watching this special Kawaii Unicorn Minecraft Story Mode video. If you're excited for the next installment of this series, please leave me a comment in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next episode. See you soon, buddies!